Good afternoon folks, Big Bo here with another bargain price diesel motorhome from Parkway RV Center. Today we're looking at a 1999 Rexall Airbus model number XL3550DS. This is a 35 and a half, might as well call it 36 foot long, class A diesel motorhome with one power slide out. It's in excellent condition, folks. It's got that big 275 Cummins engine. It's got the Allison six-speed transmission. It's got the Spartan chassis with the air brakes. You don't see many Rexalls here on the eastern United States. These are mostly out west. I've had a few of these over the years. They're great units. They're very quality built units. And for the year model, this thing's in excellent condition. Look at the striping and finish. Look how shiny it is. There's no delamination. It's got all fiberglass roof, four seasons insulation. It's got the Alcoa wheels. It's got a 7,000 watt diesel generator. You know, folks, this isn't a brand new one. It's 17 years old, but for a 17 year old motor home, this thing's probably nicer and nicer condition than about any other 17 year old motor home on the market today and really priced to sell quickly i mean look how how much shine they've somebody has really either kept this under cover and kept it waxed i mean somebody has taken exceptional care of this motor home uh, 10 gallon dsi water heater the awnings in great shape got the big windows here going into the lounge area I mean, like I said, folks, it's not perfect. It's a 99, but you can look at 199 models, and I doubt you're going to find another one that's nice and clean. It's only got 92,000 miles, and that's the benefit of a diesel. You literally cannot wear them out. You know, look at these big semi-trucks with these Cummins engines. Well, hauling 60,000, 70,000 pounds with a million miles on them, and they hadn't even hardly touched the motor on the original motor. I mean, these diesels... I mean, this can last you a long, long time. Not to mention because the motor's in the back, you've got a really smooth, quiet ride, too. Let's take a look inside this 36-foot Rexall Airbus. I'm going to tell you, folks, for a 99 model, they just don't come much nicer than this. And, you know, this is a great alternative if you want a nice high-end diesel motor home, but you don't want to go out and spend $60,000, $70,000. You know, something like this, it's already took its depreciation at $29,900. You keep it a year or two, turn around, sell it for $29,900. You're not going to lose money on it. There's no way. Uh, the windshield's perfect. Glass is perfect. There's no cracks, dings. The dash looks great. Got the leather captain's chairs with the cloth inserts. Got the backup camera system. Allison six-speed transmission. It's got the hydraulic slide out. I'll go ahead and crank it up. I mean, it fires right up. That's that. Your, your hearing is the um, air alarm because it's got to build up the airs for the air brakes. And then right here. Of course, you can see your backup camera works great. That'll go off here in a minute, folks. Uh, no lights. There's a parking light on because I've got the parking brake set like you're supposed to. It's got the HWH hydraulic levers. We'll make sure that works. Folks, when you buy an RV from Parkway RV Center, my RV techs after purchase will go through an extensive checkout sheet. We check all major systems, jacks, slide outs, appliances, electrical, generator, uh, refrigerator, roof airs, we make sure everything works It's on the checkout sheet. If you want a copy of the checkout sheet, just call one of my non-commissioned salespeople. They'll be happy to email you or fax you a copy of it so you can see for yourself exactly what we check out. But to summarize it and all, we check just about everything that we can on one of these. I mean, we can't make a brand new one out of a 99 model, folks, but we'll at least make sure all your major systems work like they're supposed to and that it runs and drives great. Uh, Six-speed push-button Allison Automatics. Got the power mirrors, uh, tilt, cruise, all that stuff's here. Generator, 760 hours, which isn't nothing for a diesel. Uh, as you can see, the Jensen system works, the backup camera. 
and then you've got the Jacob brake right here too which is a Jake brake to help slow you down on heels um, let's see Kenwood's cassette stereo which I'm sure is original you do have a driver's side door it's got the sliding uh, sliding window plenty of shades for privacy and you've even got them on the drivers and passenger side it's got all solid hardwood cabinets of course that Spartan chassis one of the uh, one of the well-known ones out there but I like this floor in here and, the, and how much room there is look at all the space between the drivers and passenger seat both these chairs swivel for party seating you got plenty of overhead storage and I think it's got got a little Sony CD changer in there which I know those are kind of old school but you know I've, obviously they've kept all the original equipment in here which I like to see that folks if I'm going to modify something to not meet factory specs, I'd rather do it myself so I can assure the quality of it. It's got all the original TVs, got the VCR in it. And this is the way I like to see it. I, I, you know, when people, I've seen people butcher uh, replacing these old style TVs with the new HD TVs. And both these, all these TVs work. So there's nothing you have to worry about changing for a while unless you just want to. But I've seen people just ruin uh, a motorhome putting the wrong size TV in it trying to modify it to make it fit where these older style TVs were and just don't make sense folks but people do it uh, VCR I mean they've added a few things right here they have got a digital converter so you can watch digital TV DVD player uh, this is a crossover box so you can watch other words you can watch a dvd on the back tv without having to have two dvd players and all that's enclosed there's all your remotes as you can see books and manuals are in here too and look at this floor space in here folks you you could have a dance floor right here i mean there's just about that much space to dance right here huge area and you've got the and you've got the table and chairs looking out those great big picture windows which i hope you find a better view than a bunch of RVs. Um, you know, maybe a lake or a mountain or something like that would be nice, or the beach. Uh, you've got a queen size pull out sleeper sofa. You've got a chair. See, all the blinds look great. Got plenty of windows. This roof air is ice cold. Go ahead and show you that. Let me get it, get it in the thing there. Yep. Uh, don't think you got to worry about keeping it cool. I'm blowing nine degrees <laughs> and it's 80 plus degrees outside. So got carpet looks like new. It's got hardwood floors in the kitchen, real Corian countertops. You know, these are high dollar motorhomes when they're new. It's got the freedom inverter. It works. We make sure that's work as part of our checkout microwave confection oven so you've got electric oven and then you still have your gas oven too which we've got that in our Winnebago and we do a lot of cooking I love having two ovens uh, then of course your stove top doesn't look like it's hardly been used stainless sinks nice and clean like they're supposed to be uh, faucet got the upgrade two-door RV refrigerator freezer that runs off LP or electric. It's got the built-in ice maker. Look how clean this thing is, folks. I mean, we can't clean one up that good. This is how well the previous owner kept this motor home. And that's a, it don't matter how good the deal is, folks. If you get one that somebody's neglected, haven't serviced, you're asking for problems. It doesn't matter how cheap you bought the motor home. And of course, I, let me see if this thing picks up a temperature in here because I know I haven't had this on long enough to get the operating temp, but the, in the hour I've had this thing, this refrigerator on, we're already in 12 degrees in the freezer. Yeah, um, obviously that works. Of course, we're going to, my, I'm not an RV tech. My RV techs will run it for several hours on gas and electric to make sure it works like it's supposed to. Refrigerator, of course, it's not going to be near as cold. It hasn't been on long enough, but it's already in the low 50s. So obviously this works. You know, they uh, they take several hours for these to get to operating temp. Got a pantry right here. Should have adjustable shelving. Uh, another pantry with adjustable shelving. Got a little cutting board that comes out. 
plenty of drawers, which I'm not going to open every one of these, but you can see it's got all that underneath the sink looks good. No water stains, anything like that anywhere. That's what's really neat about this motorhome, folks. It's a 99 model, and I cannot see any indication that's ever had a leak in it. And that's very, very unusual for 99. And I'm not, like I said, I haven't been through this thing with a, with a magnifying glass or anything, but looking at the known trouble spots, I don't see any indication of leak damage anywhere. Uh, you've got a hallway right here with a huge closet on one side. It's a big old closet right here, folks. Plenty of hanging space. Of course, that's the back of your TVs going into the bedroom. Huge hanging space. Side bathroom. Porcelain RV toilet. Uh, you've got a really nice shower glass in shower it's got the skylight there's no signs of leak damage around the skylight uh, vanity medicine cabinet overhead it's got a fantastic vent fan instead of the cheap fan and all everything's enclosed so if somebody's in the restroom getting ready they're not blocking access to any part of the motorhome you can get to the bedroom the living area with no problem um privacy curtain right here or excuse me a privacy no, that's a privacy curtain. I'm sorry. Privacy curtain that hooks into this so you can block your bedroom off. Of course, I would turn this other air on, but I'm afraid I'll flip a breaker. I'll try it. Yeah, I flipped a breaker. But anyway, I guarantee that to work. I've just got it hooked into 30 amp shore power right now, so I don't have a 50 amp, which you got to have to run both air conditioners. Uh, it's got a little TV back here, a little 13 inch TV, original, it works. Underneath the bed, there's storage, queen-size bed, his and her nightstands, reading lamps. You know, this is a lot of motorhome for under $30,000. That 275 Cummins is it got a proven track record. I mean, this is something that, with that diesel generator and that Allison transmission, that Spartan chassis, that's going to last you for a long time. And at a bargain, too. And like I said, folks, there's really no risk with this. Drive it for a year or two. Let's just say you drive it for two years. You, you go, you know what? I'm going to go with something bigger with more slide outs. Put this thing on eBay, Craigslist, or RV Trader. Get your 30 grand back out of it. And then buy you something else. Now, you try doing that with any other diesel motor, motor home out there. That's not going to happen, folks. I looked at these things online. And people are asking $30,000 for 99 Rexall with the gas engine in them. Not the diesel, the gas engine. And some of them are asking more than thirty grand for the gas engine Rexalls. But this is a diesel for $29,900. We'll trade. Financing is available. I can get you interest rates as low as 3% with approved credit on this RV, even if it is a 99 model. And I'm going to tell you, folks, I don't have any extra fees. No dock fees, no prep fees, no dealer fees. We're a 48-year-old family owned and operated third generation used RV dealership. We sell all over the country. We sell over 500 used motorhomes, campers, and fifth wheels a year, mostly motorhomes. And it's because of our prices. You know what? We sell for $29,900. Other dealers get $40,000 plus for. Not just on price, but they're going to hit you up with two or $3,000 in fees. And just like I was saying, dock fees, prep fees, tag and title fees, temp tag fees, they give you an orientation fee, some of them do. All those fees are 100% dealer profit. They're completely unnecessary to purchase a used or brand new RV. You're going to get an extensive checkout by one of my qualified RV techs. Going to go through this thing, and when you arrive to pick it up, they're going to give you a demonstration, so they'll show you how to operate everything. We're going to uh, make sure all the stuff in our checklist works. And like I said, contact us. We'll give you a copy of our checklist. We're going to make sure, uh, you know, you get the best financing rates available. You can't even go buy this thing brand new and get a 3% rate, folks. And the reason why our interest rates are so low is because unlike other RV dealerships, we have no dealer interest rate markup. That's right, folks. Other dealers make thousands off of you by marking interest rates up. They basically learn to exploit people who need to finance RVs, which is 70 80% of you. And let me tell you something. They're good at it. <laughs> uh, you know, I've seen how they operate, folks. And what they do is they get you approved just like we do, 3%. But they never tell you that. That's why most dealerships don't 
discuss interest rates until they get you in the office. Even if you ask them point blank, they'll just say the low single digits or some hoopla like that. It's, you know, just all a game to them. But what they do is uh, they'll get you approved at 3%, just like we do, but they don't tell you that. They, and the finance manager comes in, or you come into the finance manager's office, Mr. Customer, congratulations, we got you approved. They always throw weird numbers at you, just to throw you off. 5.88%. Sign here, here, and here, and this is your motorhome. Well, guess what? That 2 3% interest rate markup just costs you thousands in higher RV payments over the life of an RV loan because they got greedy and trying to make money on you on the financing. At Parkway RV Center, what you what the bank approves you for is what you pay. We have no dealer interest rate markup, folks. Don't believe in it. We believe in treating our customers fairly by offering products at great prices and not nickel and diming you to death by making you overpay for financing by charging you fees. You know, what the bank approves you for is what you pay. I believe in offering financing as a courtesy to our customers, not as a way to make money. So, folks, don't, don't fall victim to those big dealer uh, fee scams, those big dealer finance scams, and their sales scams. It don't work, folks. Uh, I think people's getting wiser to that. You know, we've been doing this for 48 years. You don't stay in business that long if you don't treat people right and sell a bargain in a motorhome. And that's exactly what we do. We don't just sell local, you know. Most of our customers come three, four hundred, five hundred miles away or more. Uh, I mean, I had two people from Florida today come up and buy RVs from us. You know, I've sold in all 50 states, including multiple sales to Alaska, multiple sales to Hawaii. I've sent over 2,000 motorhomes, fifth wheels, and campers all over Canada. I've sent almost 30 overseas to England, Italy, Australia, and the Netherlands, among other countries. And it's really amazing, folks, but the reason why these people come that far away is not just because they like us. Well, they do like the way we do business and the way we treat them. But they come that far away, folks, because we save them a lot of money, just like we can do for you. You know, if you, uh, you know, we can honestly save you. When you factor in the price we save you, the f no fees, the interest rate that we can get you approved for, we're saving you probably $10,000 in this motorhome, folks. And uh, plus, we don't have commission salespeople. That saves you money, too. A commission salesperson is your worst enemy in any RV buying experience. And I'll tell you why. Other RV dealerships use commission salespeople to sell their RVs. This way, they can keep a large sales staff and not have to pay them by the week or by the hour or pay them salary. They only get paid when they sell something. So if an RV salesperson doesn't sell one for a month, they don't get paid for a month. So that means when you come in and you're a serious buyer, they're going to jump on you and put every kind of high-pressure sales tactic, every gimmick and game they know, and try to get you to buy that day. And because the commission rate is on, on a industry average is 25% of the gross profit of the RV. That means, A, the salesperson is going to try to move you toward the one that has the biggest dealer markup so they can make the most money. And B, <coughs> that RV dealer has to mark their prices up an additional 25% to cover their salespeople's commission. In other words, and the, and the big dealers design it this way, folks. You're not paying the commission, or they're not paying the commission, you are by paying more for the same RV. That's one reason why our prices are so much lower. When you have the lowest prices on the internet, you don't have to pay commission for people to sell your motorhomes. You know, I have the lowest prices. My, all my salespeople are salary-based only. They, they get paid the same every single payday. It doesn't matter how many units they sell or even if they don't if they sell any at all. In other words, my salespeople... It doesn't matter to them paycheck-wise whether you buy the motorhome or don't buy the motorhome. So instead of working against you like a commission salesperson will, my salespeople work for you. They answer your questions. They help you arrange financing and trade-ins if you need it. Uh, you know, they uh, if you want to come look at it in person, they'll make an appointment with you. I have the unit plugged into power with the air on, and they can see everything working on it for yourself. And, you know, whatever's not working, of course, that's covered in our checklist, will be checked out and fixed before it goes out or before you pick it up or we deliver it. You know, there's really no selling involved, folks. 
I mean, you look on other dealers' lots, what's out there for $29.9 in this kind of condition and compare it to this one, you're going to see there's no comparison. Uh, you can't even go buy a good gas burner at most other dealers' lots with a slide out for what you can get this 99 Rexall for. And that's just the way we operate, folks. We would rather make just a... We don't have to get rich on every RV we sell. We would rather make a little bit and sell a lot more. In other words, high volume. We make our dollar with 10 dimes instead of four quarters. The other dealers would rather work less and make more money per unit and sell less. And this way they can make more per unit. In other words, make their dollar with four sales instead of 10 sales like we do. We have to work harder, but that's the way we're raised. And at the end of the day, the customers are happy because they got a better deal. They don't have to deal with commission salespeople. They don't have to deal with all the games and high pressure sales tactics and all the extra fees. You know, they're happy because they got a great deal. They travel from all over the United States and Canada to come here to buy because they got such a great deal because of our great selection. And at the end of the day, we still made our money. We just have to work harder and sell more units to make the same amount of money other dealers make for selling less units. But hey, that's the way we've done it. And obviously it works after 48 years. You know, you can get on eBay. This unit's going on eBay. It's going on that and about 20 other websites. And we're a certified power seller on eBay with hundreds of positive feedbacks, folks. You can't buy those feedbacks. You only get those from selling RVs and people leaving good, good feedback experiences about it. You can go to my Google Plus listing. Uh, I have dozens and do I think I've got over 50 Google Plus reviews from customers who came here, bought RVs, and wrote about how much, how well they liked the experience, even coming from thousands of miles away. I've got, you can go to my Facebook page, you can like it, you can go to my YouTube channel. I've got millions and millions of video views, over two and a half million video views, and 2,300 subscribers, and 1,800 plus videos. So... I'm going to tell you, folks, we, we've been here a long time. We're well-established. We're never going to risk that reputation that we worked so hard for to sell you a 99 Rexall. It's not worth it to sell a 1,000 99 Rexalls. Uh, you know, what you see is what you get. We're going to do everything we say we're going to do on that checklist. When you pick it up, you're going to be very, very happy. I have customers tell me all the time how much better the RVs look in person after my techs and cleaning crew got a hold of them after they purchased it than it did in the video and the pictures. You can give us a call if you want to come look at this RV. Just make an appointment with your, with your salesperson at 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. Uh, we do appointments, folks, because my guys spend... 95% of the day on the phone and on the computer answering emails and the over 200 plus sales calls a day that we receive here. Uh, you know, they try to schedule their uh, on-site customers a day or two in advance. So it just helps everybody else. If you call, make an appointment, set up a time that's beneficial to you and the salesperson. And if you're coming to look at a particular unit, this way we can have it plugged up. You can check it out the way it's meant to be seen. And uh, that's the way our customers love it. That's the way we like to do it, too, so everything's efficient. Now, certainly, we're not going to turn anybody away if you don't have an appointment. You know, it's just like going to a doctor's or a dentist's office. If you show up without an appointment, they can work you in, but you may have to wait a little bit till one of my guys gets freed up from a previous appointment or a sales call. We also have, uh, if you just want to come browse, folks, you're more than welcome to. You know, you're, you don't have to have an appointment. We've got 150 used RVs. If you just want to come look through them, everything's open during business hours. Prices are on the windshield. If you have any questions, same things. If You know, just come inside, sit around for a little bit. One of my guys will get freed up and answer your questions. But like I said, if you want to take a serious look at this 99 Rexall, please call ahead and make an appointment. We'll have it plugged up and... One of my guys will have dedicated time with you instead of going back and forth handling appointments and sales calls. Thank you for watching my video. Hope it answered a lot of your questions. If you have additional questions, you're more than welcome to email me directly. I'm not in sales. I'm in marketing, and I do not take sales calls or phone calls. All I ask people to do that watch my videos, if they want to talk to me, send me an email. I get several emails a day from people who watch my videos and I answer their questions to the best of my ability. I've got over 20 years of experience in RVs. I've owned about every type you can think of. I've lived in them. I've had 
I've towed them, I've drove them, I've got a big one, a big Class A, real similar to this now, and I'm more than happy to answer any question you have about the RV lifestyle or about the different makes and models. I've, I've been factory trained in several different ones, and you can email me directly, Bo, B O, at parkwayrvcenter.com. You can also, if for general sales questions, you can also email those to sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. And if you have a sales question, folks, I'll do my best to help you or send you to, to the one of my salespeople. I'll help you out any way I can, folks. Uh, again, our phone number is 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. Uh, email sales at, Bo, uh, sales at parkwayrvcenter.com, and you can email me directly at bow at parkwayrvcenter.com. Our website is updated constantly, folks. So if you don't see what you're looking for on the website, call us. At, just because it's not on the website doesn't mean we don't have it. Get to know one of my RV salespeople. Let them get to know you. And you might be surprised, folks. We may have your perfect RV at a price lower than anybody else in the country on the lot right now. And it's just not posted online yet. We get in several RVs a day, and there's just no way I can keep up by myself. That's one reason why I don't take phone calls, because I'm so busy shooting RVs. But, you know, call us. Don't, don't be afraid to call us, because my guys are non-commissioned. They're not going to pressure you in any shape, form, or fashion. Be glad to help you folks. Give us a call, drop us an email. If you want to fly in, drive this Rexall home, we'll pick you up for free at the Chattanooga, Tennessee airport during business hours. If you need a tow dolly, we sell them too, just to customers who buy RVs. We don't sell them to people off the street. If you want to rent a car to get to us, we have buyers that do that. We'll help you drop the car off at our local rental car terminal again for free. Thank you for watching my video. Hope to see you soon here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.